Hello, this is uh, Wise Guys. This session talk about dilution calculation, part one. What is dilution? Dilution means uh, more solvent is added, and the solute remains the same. As a result, because solute remains same and more solvent added, so the volume of solution gets more. So that's why the concentration of the solution becomes low, right? Because we say the concentration, the concentration C equals the amount of solute. Divided amount of solution by a multiply 100 percent, right? When this one you add more solvent, the solu solution equals the solution equals solute plus solvent. When add more solvent, solute stays same. So the solution, the volume of solution gets more, but solute still stays the same. So in this situation, this is the fraction when numerator stays stay same and the denominator gets greater, so the fraction gets smaller. So that's why the concentration gets smaller. So let's look at the example. And question one, using a dilution procedure, we're looking for how many milliliters of 15% mass to volume sodium chloride solution are needed to make 1500 milliliters of 0.9% sodium chloride solution. So when you do uh, question, question about the dilution, you always make clear solute doesn't change. So we're looking for how many solute. So because the amount of solute in both solution, one is concentrated solution, the other is diluted solution, stay same. So let's look at this one. How many milliliters? 50% of this one are needed to make 1500 milliliters of 0.9% solution. So from 15% to 0.9%, the solution is diluted. So 0.9% is 0.9% There are 0 0.9 grams of solute in 100 milliliter of solution. Right? That's percent because 0 0.9 over 100, 0 0.9 grams of solute over 100 milliliter of solution. Now, we make 1500 milliliter solution. That's why we can set the ratio 0 0.9 grams over 100 milliliter equals. We need 1500 milliliter. So this is a how many, how much solute. So we can find x equals because both sides we can zero cancel, zero cancel. So x multiply 1 equals 15 multiply 0 0.9. We got 15 times 0 0.9. The unit, because we're looking for x, when milliliter, milliliter cancel out, the answer will be got the grams. So 15 times 
this is x get is 1.5 times 9 is 13.5 grams. So we need 13.5, we have 13.5 grams of salt. And 13.5 grams of salt is from concentrated sodium chloride solution. That's why we're looking for the volume. From 15%, we can say 15% means 15 grams in each milliliter. This is a high concentration. This is a lower concentration. So 15 grams in 100 milliliter. Now we have we need 13.5 grams is how many milliliter solution, right? So in this situation, you, first you need focus on how, many, how much salute after find the number of salute because salute stays same so then you go to the constant how how many uh, milliliter you need so in this situation we can calculate x equals you cross multiplication cross multiplication and uh, x times 15 and the 15 on the bottom and 100 times 13.5 which is 13.5 multiplied 100, right? Then we got x equals, the top is 1350 divided the 15. Then we can use calculate to find the answer. So during the calculation, every time you need to focus on the solute, it doesn't change, right? So we have 1350 divided 15 equal 90. So this is a 90 milliliter. Because this one is grams, gram cancel out, so x equal milliliter. So x equals 90 milliliters. So we need 90 milliliters of 15% and the sodium chloride solution and to make a 1500 milliliter of 0.9 percent solution this is the question one question two how much solvent in milliliters should be added to five milliliters of a 50.0 milligram per milliliter antibiotic solution to decrease the concentration to 1%. This question is looking for solvent because sol solvent plus solute equals solution. In dilution situation, solute never change. Just add more solvent. So that's why we still focus on looking for how much solute. Now, the information they say, how much solvent in milliliters should be added to five milliliter of 50 milligram per milliliter antibiotic solution? Let's make a picture of this one. Because in, for example, in a graduated measure, and you have I say you have five milliliter. This is a five milliliter, five milliliter solution, which is fifty milligram per milliliter. This is a fifty milligram per milliliter concentration, right? This. One. And now we need to decrease the concentration to one percent. So that means you need to add more solvent so add more solvent becomes to less concentration right become less concentration 
Now, this is uh, still five. This is still five milliliter. This is right, and this one, the final volume solution. We don't know. We're looking for, and the the solute stays same. So that's why we need the first using these two information to find the number of solute. So the number of solute is we can say uh, 55 milliliter multiply 50 milligram per milliliter. So we have milliliter, milliliter cancel out with 250 milligrams of solute. So this is inside is 250 mill 250 milligrams of solute. And even after dilute, diluted, still 250 milligrams, but distribute in more sweat. So now you can say the final concentration, because you still have 250 milligrams, but you have more solvent, you have more volume of solution, and become the concentration become 1%. The 1% means 1 gram in 100 milliliter. So now you can see how much this one? We don't know. So this is the X, right? This is X milliliter total solution. And the solute stays the same, so it's 250 milligrams. So you can write X milliliter 250 milligram, but the milligrams and the grams is not matching unit. So we need to convert the same unit from grams to milligram multiply thousand. So one grams you call it one thousand milligrams. So then you can see we're working with these two, this part. Oh, sorry, this one should be one gram to one thousand milligram. The volume stay 100, right? 100, still 100. And this is a 250 we're looking for. So then you can see these two, zero, zero, cancel out, right? Then we look at the, this one. Obviously, cross multiplication, we can say the milligrams is uh, x equals you cross multiplication, you got uh, 250 and multiply 1 equals 100. You got the 25 milliliter. So this is 25. This is x equals 25 milliliter. The final solution is 25 milliliter. So we're looking for solvent. Obviously, you can see before you have 5 milliliter. Now you need a 25 milliliter. So the solution solvent equals so solvent equals 25 minus 5, and this is a milliliter equal 20 milliliter. This one is the milliliters of solvent. Okay. This is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you.